We're finally going on our first trip. This is Christopher. This is like Tyler. Sick Selfie. Tyler. Sick Tyler. <laughs> Why are we going to El Paso? The reason we're going to El Paso is because okay, we, we wanted to pick a city that we haven't explored that was drivable. Of course, we are leaving at 6 p.m. in the evening, so we're all, <laughs> we're all coffeeed up. We're about to make the drive, and we're going to stay at a sweet Airbnb. I've been looking forward to going to El Paso for a while, but as the weekend approached, I was feeling only medium excited. So there's just a lot happening that I was gonna miss out on and driving to El Paso is like six and a half hours of a really, really boring drive. So I wasn't exactly looking forward to that stuff, but I was still excited to go and explore a city I've never been to with two of my really good friends. We the contacted most, these like, guys off of Instagram they're called the Bearded Villains. I've never met anyone just off of Instagram before. We're supposed to meet up with them this afternoon. They're gonna text us and hopefully we're gonna get to see the city through their eyes. than I thought it was going to be. And even though they look super intimidating, they were so friendly and just eager to share about their lives and why they live in El Paso and who the Bearded Villains are. For the most part, at least for the places that I've been, it's, it's pretty laid back. You know? I love the, 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 the bilingual. You, know? you can go anywhere, you can speak Spanish or you can speak English or you can speak both at the same time. What's the key in maintaining a glorious beard? Um, I recommend a great product it's called Pulpo Beard Oils. This dude who's like this massive, tatted up, bearded man is like the owner of a beard oils company and he has an Etsy. Like my skin was irritated, it was painful. I bought a couple different uh, products and then I started mixing my own. So I started mixing with orange, I started mixing with lime, and then I think when I finally hit it, was with peppermint. So the next thing you know, took off. Yeah, it awesome. basically took off. I've been a business since July. I thought that they'd be more bro-y, like just like a bunch of like super macho dudes, but they actually were like super genuine, friendly, like cool guys. It's just this brotherhood that are very passionate about beards and you have to have a beard to be in it, and there's some sort of rules with Instagram, and you have to be tagging each other to even be allowed in the club, but it seemed like just everybody wants community, and that was their way of finding community and finding people to hang out with. That was refreshing to just meet strangers that were willing to be that kind. I think what made driving to El Paso worth it was just like going away on a weekend to a town I've never been to, especially a town like El Paso, that's just so random. Actually intentionally driving there to experience the city, um, I think I got a lot out of it. I do not have beard envy. I do not want to grow a beard ever. Um, it's a lot of maintenance, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of commitment. I do wish I could grow a fuller beard. I am patchy myself when it grows in. I don't think I would ever want to grow a really big beard. I always have beard envy. I wish I could grow one, but I can't because there's like this weird bald spot right here. It was a cool city. There's lots of interesting things there and the people are super, super friendly and genuine. So that also helps when you go to a place and the people are awesome. So we have the world map. I've limited my stuff into like a region that's doable in a year. It looks like most people who take a gap year or travel the world for a year go to anywhere from like 10 to 15 countries.